So yeah. when was the last time you cried? When was the last time I cried? <laughs> now, there were two types of cry. Okay. No, there's cry. Like there was, when I, I got injured, right? Mm. I, I, I um, fractured my knee and it was yeah. very painful, so yeah. I cried, right? Yeah. That was pain, yeah, pain of knee. Physical pain. Physical pain, I cried. <laughs> then I cried, I think after my sister passed, right. and I was trying to, because I, I, I wasn't dealing with that properly, a lot of people don't know, but I wasn't dealing with that properly. And I had to go into like, almost like, I would say counseling. Right. And in one of the sessions, so I think there was about, yeah, a few months, last year, maybe last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, so I did cry, you right. know, in that session because yeah. I kind of, almost like all the bunt, uh, you know, bottled up, grief, anger, everything. Yes, I think, I think then I cried. What do you mean you were not handling it properly? So, my sister, hmm, my dad passed. So my dad passed. Yeah. Hmm. Then my sister passed a year after my daddy passed. Hi, ye. Ah. So when my dad passed, my dad was older. So I just thought, okay, he was 70 something, he's lived a good life. Mm. So when my daddy died, I didn't really think much of it. Mm. I, felt, I, I was a bit angry at, with that because I didn't like the way the hospital, you know, hospitals, I kind of felt the hospital should have told me my dad was dying. They didn't tell us he was dying. And so I was a bit angry with yeah. that. And my sister too, at that time was very upset. Yeah. That why didn't they tell us? If we had, we had told us he was dying, would have been with him every morning, night, afternoon, sleep with him, talk to him, all these hands, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So I just, it was just a case of, Daddy, we'll see you in the morning, and then we left, and we got that he had passed in the middle of the night. So that happened. Then Tosi passed. Ha! Yeah. Ah, when Tosi died, I was angry. I thought, why would God take myself? We're just two children. No? I'm the firstborn. My mommy has lost two children before Tosi, when they were young. Now she has lost three children. The card now is only me. Uh -uh. First of all, I felt the body, and I was like, I now have to, the body of just even loving my mother. Yeah. I felt it was a bit much for me. That one was there. I was angry. I was angry with God. Because two, three days before that, I was in a revival. You know? Hey! I was praying. <laughs> serious prayer. I said, God, why you not show me? Say, my dad, my sister, go die. So I was very angry and very upset and mm -hmm. very, and I think that maybe just even my dad's death, then her death, I mean, just because Tosi had been a sickler, mm. I had, even, I had even been detached from her because mm. I thought she was going to die anyway. So it's a lot of things, you know, a lot of things. So really, I think that I now started understanding some things about myself, mm. why I was the way I was with people. So I even had to start intentionally cultivating friendships. I, yeah. I've, I've always had friends, though, yeah. but making myself vulnerable, vulnerable. I never wanted to be vulnerable in my life because I just thought being vulnerable, ah, you'll be crying, everybody will be seeing you. Even now, you know, Lala will be laughing. I'm like, yeah, you're not saying I love you. You're not saying I love you. And now I used to say, I love, I love you too. Even to my husband, I had. But now I'm like, I love you. <laughs> you know, because I became vulnerable. Yes. You know, and I think that's what grief. So grief just deals with you in different ways. Mm. Final question on this. Was it tough? Because you mentioned, you know, detaching emotionally. Yeah. Because you always had the idea that Tosin was going to die anyway. Yeah. So was it tough on you, on you guys growing up? having a sickle cell sister and the fear that she might leave at any time? Yes, I think it was. I could tell when I was younger that my mom was very afraid. Mm. I, could, I could see it, mm. you know, because I'd what to see, deal with, you know, hospital, yeah. you know, appointments, being in the hospital for weeks, uh, taking a lot of injections, falling ill, you know, Tosin would not, they would say, oh, she shouldn't be part of things, you know, we can't play with her, we can't fight her, you know, I want to, me, I want to fight her, she was very naughty. So I want to beat her. Ah, say don't beat her. Ah, she may go and my man she may go and die now. Say you know that kind of thing. So all that was there. So there was uh, there was an extra layer of maybe I would say love, mm. but also fear. So you know, you know my dad my dad didn't flog her. My dad only flogged Tosin once. My mom never flogged her. Mm. They would flog me a lot, but they never flogged her. And mm. I'm like, ah, ah wow. Well, so I used to say, okay, Tosin, you be lying and saying that you are the one that broke the place. <laughs> you are the one that, because they never flogged her, you know, <laughs> and everything. But. Yes, so I could see that at home, yeah, right? Yeah. And mm. we never spoke about it. We never discussed it, but yeah. it, it, was, but it, was, it, it was there. There was fear. I, 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 yes, there was fear. I, I could see it. And my mom was always worried. So fear yeah. and worry. Let me yeah. just say worry. Yeah. And then she started learning how to manage the pain. Manage, you know, you know the pain. But towards, the nearer the time she passed, in the last few years of her life, she, didn't, she wasn't in as much pain. She right. wasn't really having crises right. and all that. So, right. so it was a peaceful, to me, peaceful death, really. Yeah. Because there was no pain. Because there was no pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank God for I mean, I wanted to say thank God for that. I wasn't yeah. sure if that was... No, no, it's a good yes, thing. It's that. a good thing because yeah. she was not... My mom even says that, you know, she was not on a machine. Mm -hmm. We're not there waiting for weeks right. for her to go. Right. We're not like, hey, her heart and this. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah.
I mean, I saw rest in peace. I mean, we, we all miss her. You yeah. know, she was, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and I always say one of the things that I love more than Nigeria is our party culture. In mm -hmm. fact, I even set up a website called Party Your Love just to yes, capture yes. that. And how excellent event management has now become. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think I knew we were getting emotional there. That's why I quickly moved no, away from that. Well, I did cry. Everybody yes. cries on your show. <laughs> I have not cried. Oh my goodness. I didn't cry. This is my own arm. Don't <laughs> no cry. I didn't cry. Everybody <laughs> cries. I even, I, I even said that maybe I will cry. But no cry. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know I show. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I had a bottle of